time series foundation is about data evolving in time. This is what the first two words mean. The third word means uh, uh, something you build upon. In this case, we are talking about a .NET toolset for building applications and for uh, helping people to understand the data evolving in time and forecast the future behavior of this data based on past behavior. Here is the structure of the product at a glance. Um, as you can see, it doesn't have too many layers. Um, maybe a couple of dozen of APIs and interfaces for forecasting event analysis and also some uh, friendly middleware to help the thing communicate with Excel. But before you talk, uh, we talk a little bit more about building things on top of this. Um, let's uh, look at the things that have been already pre-built and are available out of the box. Uh, such as uh, something that allows you to do beautiful forecasts shown here, um, complete with future behavior, seasonality analysis and outlier um, detection here, or uh, you can get a very beautiful forecast of uh, um, a future calendar event impact uh, if you know what uh, historically the impact of event of a certain type um, was. So, uh, to be able to do something like that, you really have to have uh, something packaged. And what it is, is um, a um, Excel add-in that um, gives um, interface to a certain subset of the Time Series Foundation and um, allows to do things like forecasting future events, forecasting future behavior. Um, once you have sucked in your data, you can do such a forecast shown in the red line here. And then you can also uh, estimate um, the uncertainty of this prediction, which we would always recommend you to do. Um, here, uh, you're, uh, because of the troubled past of this data, the future is not very certain. We have relatively smooth expected behavior and we also have a broadening envelope of possibilities around it. Um, so you can uh, see that the further you go into the future, the broader is the array of actual possibilities. So another important thing is to be able to figure out what are or rather what were the most uh, uh, significant changes in your data behavior or what were the outliers in your data. Uh, in this um, chart here they are marked out with triangles and diamonds and also with the red background in the data column. And so you can um, do uh, as many forecasts or, or as many um, analysis as you want and uh, they all get nicely stacked in uh, as a uh, separate spreadsheets in, in a workbook which then can be saved and uh, um, shared with other people and used either inside the Time Series Foundation environment or really uh, outside of it as well as a completely standalone document. Um, however, as I already mentioned, only a subset of the functionality is exposed this way. This is because of the performance considerations. Um, usually the Excel users, the business uh, um, analytics kind of people are impatient and want uh, data um, to be analyzed and the forecast to brought out um, sooner. And uh, um, for, for the more uh, intricate analysis, more flexible one, using the full power of um, uh, the time series foundation functionality, you, you would have to, to code something. Um, and this is not a huge amount of code. In fact, uh, it takes uh, a line or two to suck in the data that is stored um, in, in a file. And you can do it either in, in form of, uh, of the straight flat um, array of doubles, or you can um, format it as uh, a, a dictionary of date value pairs uh, where the date 
units uh, are then used in in the forecast and understanding uh, kind of binding the the analysis to to the actual timeline um, so having uh, sucked in uh, a, a collection of series here you can then loop through them and and for each series do several things um, for example it's uh, recommended that that uh, outliers and deviant patterns are detected using uh, one of the available outlier detectors generating the entire detection history and then of course the most popular thing is to instantiate a forecaster and uh, uh, do a prediction with it um, which uh, takes just uh, a couple of lines of code um, we recommend uh, wrapping it into a try catch if uh, uh, your application is mission critical so so this way you get you get the full forecast out um, and you can go ahead and use it however uh, another service that is available uh, in the TSF is some code that helps format and project this data into a um, external um, Excel uh, workbook uh, and uh, basically this allows to uh, do presentation quality um, results for this analysis whether or not you're running your uh, application interactively or as, it, as the case may be um, a, as a command line or a console application so the last but not the least um, if you are um, unhappy or uh, un not completely satisfied with with some of the functionality um, that is already pre-built um, you can uh, um, implement new algorithm change some interfaces using simple and very intuitive rules of uh, state space model forecasting um, and um, we would actually like to welcome you to do that the community uh, of of the people who are contributing to Time Series Foundation is very small but growing and we will hope it will grow further. Um, this is the core of this community and this is us, uh, the creators of Time Series Foundation and we like uh, to welcome you to the technology.